This is what it looks like, Taylor, Texas. This is what it looks like. I'm down here in Robinson Park, you know, a spot where I used to train a lot as a kid, and now I'm training my athlete, uh, athlete who I think has a big chance of breaking, shattering all of my records in triple jump, long jump, you know. Uh, I decided to bring him to a spot where I, you know, grew up, uh, trained that as a kid, um, really just found myself as an athlete, you know. Uh, I have to give a big shout out to uh, Mooney, Rodney White, um, and Gerald, Gerald Anderson, you know. Uh, they always instilled in me and my friends of working hard and, you know, don't nothing come easy. If you want it, you gotta work hard. So it was a group of boys. We was the East Side Boys Club here in Taylor. We would come out here and we would just work out and uh, we play softball. We play football out there. It's a basketball court up there. Um, we would run this hill right here. Just all kind of stuff, just getting ourselves right athletically. I don't even think we knew what we was doing at the time. We really didn't. You know, we was just some little rug rats, snotty nose, fighting with each other, you know. But uh, I really took the information and, and the work ethic that those guys gave me, and I used that in life. And that's why I've been able to get where I've gone. And uh, now I can share it with Jarvis, you know. that's. I feel like I'm still an athlete through him. So when he win, that's when I win. His success is my success because, you know, that's just how I am. Now my boy coming up, man. He already taller than me. You know, he, are, he definitely jumping further than me at my age. So this is Jarvis, man. So Jarvis just finished running a couple of laps around the stadium. Now he's doing high knees to get ready, you know. Um, it's a little bit different training him. Um, our communication is through sign language, yep. Our communication is through sign language and I know I'm teaching him a lot, but at the same time, he's, teach he's teaching me a lot of things also. So we just gonna knock out this warm up, you know, then we gonna get to these hills. Ooh, we. One of the advantages that I have coaching Jarvis is that I can still demonstrate every single, you hear the granary behind me, or it might be a trainer, I don't know, this is loud. But I can demonstrate every single thing. Sorry about the distractions, it's hot out here though. But I can demonstrate every exercise to him. So that's kind of, our communication, me leading by example. All good leaders lead by example. That's what a wise man once told me. So the warm up is done. Now I'm finding the steepest part of the hill right here, if you guys can see. My boy getting some water, staying hydrated. And we're about to do a variation of different um, exercises coming up the hill, you know, uh, getting them right. Normally I train Jarvis for uh, track and field um, because that's obviously my specialty. If y'all know me, y'all know track and field. That's where I did my thing at. Uh, but he's getting ready. Uh, the track season got canceled. So we're getting ready for um, football doing general strength. So y'all stay tuned. And we're off. First workout. Or well, first exercise, excuse me. Lunging up the hill. And if I miss, miss, dang, I'm messing up as I say that. If I mispronunciate a word or say something or stumble while I'm talking, it's because I'm new at this and um, I'm not really uncomfortable, but it's kinda out of my shell. So I'm just trying to stay good. Good job. No, the video is not in reverse. We're actually doing reverse lunges up the hill. Yep. You can hear the trains, you can hear the granary, you can hear all the stuff here in Taylor, you know? It's the little small country town. Got the old 
Okay. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, his leg's gonna be feeling good after this one. His dad told me, work him out good today. So, it's about the work that you put in when nobody is watching. Nobody's watching. There's nobody else out here. There's nobody else at the park. I mean, I know the parks are shut down and things based upon the, the pandemic, but it ain't nobody else his age out here working like this right now. If they are, those are the elite ones. Yep. So this is like a side shuffle squat. I know his legs are burning because he's doing a little skip, the little skip in there, trying to get more distance. I'm gonna make sure he get it right the next one. Just a minor fix. Now we're getting it right. These workouts don't take a long time, only 30, 45 minutes. As long as you're getting it in and getting it in properly, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta work out all day. It's just how efficient your workout is. Do it right, do it light, do it study long, study wrong. I think Coach Kobe or something said that quote. <laughs> I remember all the quotes, all the coaches and everybody told me throughout the years. I seen my boy a little bit down, and well not down, a little bit fatigued after the last one. And just like my coach, Coach Clark, you know, Davion Clark, oh, I got him, I got him, uh, I got him up with one of those nice little screams. Woo! Let's go, baby! Yes, sir. He couldn't, he can't even hear me, but he feel the energy. He feel the energy, yup. That's the burn, baby. So a part of being a good coach, what I observed from the good coaches that I had, uh, Olympian coaches that I had is, you know, you're supposed to always trust in your athlete and trust in your athlete's body. You know, when y'all have that trust together, you you know, uh, they'll feel comfortable letting you know, oh, coach, my leg hurts or I'm not really feeling that today. Coach, can we do something else instead of that? You know, because some people, y'all know how people are. They try to make excuses on why not to work out and why not. Why? This boy here, it, his leg could be, he could be, he could be limping. He's still going to be trying to do the workout. I got to tell him to tone it down, shut it down a little bit. You know, today is it's pretty hot out here in this hill. You know, uh, he kind of jumped into the hill head first it wasn't really like he really eased into it so next time he'll be able to pace himself and we'll be all right we're getting ready for the cool down and then we're gonna take it out take it out for the day man